This uh, bill is to add a basically a plain language summary at the, the front of child placement plans. Um, I will say again, as having been a foster parent and has, having gotten some of these plans, uh, they can be very thick with a lot of information uh, to the point that even me trying to find a partic particular um, thing that you need to work with or follow, um, it can be cumbersome. And, and that is for someone who is used to reading legal documents and you know can navigate some of those, um, which not every person, every parent, every guardian is as, as comfortable doing. So, and we wanna make sure that families have the best outcomes, that if there is a plan for them, that they clearly understand it. And so this summary was something that out of the 2022 OLA report was a recommendation um, to make it just easier for families, guardians, whoever is having to work these plans, have that framework to, so that they really understand like the very basics of this. Um, Again, the, I know there's a concern with the Paperwork Reduction Act that this is actually adding something. The amendment that um, you all just kindly passed um, was recommendations from DHS um, to use basically a, a form that was developed. So that will help make this an easier process to add that in. And again, if there is um, ever a new computer system, hopefully it would be one of those things where as, as the person is building the plan, they could just toggle elements that would go into a summary. We're not there yet, but again, we're thinking of these things. But in the meantime, I do really support this because if our goal is to reunify, if, if that is appropriate, we need to make sure that we are not having barriers to the families understanding the information that they are getting. So thank you for your consideration. I, I believe there is a testifier on this one as well. Uh, 